Good morning YouTube, this is Chris Green with Outdoor Power Tech. I uh, just wanted to show y'all a little something today. My air compressor, this is not my air compressor, well it is now, but my air compressor that I had for the last 15 years blew up and I picked this up for free from a gentleman. Yeah, I've been sitting for about 10 years. He said it wouldn't run, it wouldn't crank up. He said it'd start up for a few seconds then blow the breaker which told me that it was the start capacitor was gone bad in it but I'm going to show y'all how to replace these capacitors and what to look for and uh, it also has a run capacitor also when after the start capacitor kicks in gets the compressor up to speed the run capacitor kicks in uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace both of them because um, it's, if, that, if the start capacitor is bad it's already blowing uh, the breaker, I know the run capacitor is bad also, so uh, I'm going to show y'all how to replace them, what to look for, and I hope y'all learned something today. I'll try to explain everything to the best of my knowledge. I worked at an electrical motor company for over 15 years, just in the parts department, but I don't know everything about electrical motors, that's why I'm a mechanic. But you have two two covers here. You have a run capacitor and a start capacitor. These covers are just held on by a quarter inch metal screw, sheet screw. If you can see. It's just a sheet screw. We'll take this one off. Make sure your machine is unplugged. See if you can see here. There's two wires going to this capacitor right here. Do not touch those with your finger. What you want to do is pry this capacitor out gently. without touching those two ends. Set that cover to the side. You can probably see now, see these two pins? Do not touch them with your fingers. These capacitors can hold a charge. And this capacitor is rated at 370 volts, which you do not want that going through your system. What you want to do is get a screwdriver and put between the two and ground it out. Short it out, short it out, sorry. And there we go, we know that That's good. Unplug them. It doesn't matter which way. There's there's not there's not a positive and negative on these. <laughs> Sorry. Just unplug them. Try not to booger it up. Okay. I'm trying to see if we can see this together on here. The camera can focus. Okay, this is 370 volts. I'll just have to tell you. It's 370 volts. It's 40 microfarads. You want to make sure that whenever you buy this, it's 50 to 60 hertz. You're going to want to make sure that you buy the same exact capacitor. Right here is where it says 40 microfarads. It says UF, same thing, 40 microfarads. I'll try to get a close up for you on that. Let's see if we can do that. Here we go. 40 UF, that's my ferries, 370 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. You want to order this same capacitor. All right, I'll show you one that I ordered. Let's see here. 
I ordered this on Amazon. You can get them fairly cheap. Okay, here's the new one. 40 mark fair, 50, 60 hertz, 370 volts. Okay. Alright, we're going to plug these two in. Put our cap on. When I got this thing at startup, I probably don't say this, it startup didn't just cut off. It blew the breaker. When you put this on, make sure that these are not touching up against this cover right here, like that. This right here needs to be at the far back end of this box right here. Let's see if I can show you this one. See how I have that? back up against there so these terminals are not con touching this metal right here push her in make sure when you push it down that none of these wires are underneath this lip right here because you don't want it to short out screw the cap I'm gonna plug this up and let's see what it's gonna do. Maybe look. Okay. Well, uh, the run capacitor that was in there is good. If it wasn't good, it'd start up like this and then just cut off. I'm going to go ahead and replace this because it has the same age as the other the start capacitor has on it. So I'm going to go ahead and just replace that. But it sounds good. Looks like I got me a good air compressor for free. I'm going to go ahead and replace this though, like I said. Just so down the road, you know, on one of them hot summer days coming up here when the summer comes back around, I'm not underneath the lawnmower working in the other capacitor goes out and then I'm going to have to work on it. So we're going to do the same same thing here. Pry it out from the back. Hold on. I'm going to unplug it again. Sorry. Okay. Pry it out gently from the back. Remember not to touch those two terminals with your fingers. We're going to short it out. This capacitor is 400 to 480 microfarad, 165 volts. And there's the part number too. Well, the part number won't matter to y'all because every AC motor is different for all these compressors. And I'm going to get the new one out. I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and throw this old, other old compressor away. I'm going to save, save that one since it works just in case for a rainy day. Might not be able to see this because it's imprinted on the. There we go. 400 by 480 microfarad, 165 volts, 60, 50 hertz. Okay. Let's install this one. Put 
cap cover back on. Remember not to let these terminals touch this plate. This one has a protective cover on, but put that in the back. This one only had one screw in. I'll have to find another screw in a little bit. Main thing is when you're replacing these things, make sure they match up completely. The voltage, Mike Ferris, Hertz. And what I got to say, I knew it was this capacitor's cause I pulled this cover off on. Here's a cover on the back side here where the fan's at. And I could turn it with my fingers. The motor spun freely. It looked brand new inside. So uh, I knew these capacitors had went bad from sitting for so many years. But... And there we go. Fairly nice air compressor. And she works. Well, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Just, I know it ain't on the mechanical side, it's on the electrical side of things, but I figured I'd show y'all that. If y'all ever come across an air compressor, somebody's just throwing away that they say it don't work, it just stopped working, or they went and cranked it up one morning, and it just, it turned over a few times, the AC motor did, and it just cut off, and so it's, it's worth taking if somebody's giving it to you for free. If you can, if you can turn this, if you can pull this cover off, which has just t three screws in, it, and you can turn that fan and the, the AC motor looks good inside. The coils don't, the winding still looks brand new. Doesn't have any cracks in it. it it's 99% of the time it's going to be these capacitors, and a lot of motors just have a start capacitor on it. This one has a start and a run capacitor on it, but. I've got, shoot, I got $18 in this. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video today. This is Chris Green with Outdoor Power Tech. Hope you all have a blessed day. And uh, we'll see you all next time.